As we take a sobering look at the staggering number of Americans who died from COVID-19 and try to put it in perspective, deaths on the brink of 500,000, today's front page of the New York Times showing the toll with each dot representing a death, the number just about equal to the population of the city of Sacramento. And that's where Zareen Shah is this morning. Good morning to you, Zareen. Good morning, Eva. Nearly 500,000 COVID deaths in America. A comparison, I'm in Sacramento, the capital of the hardest hit state. Population, 500,000. That's equivalent to everyone in this entire city disappearing. Trinidad Alcala Arcos's dad told stories through music. I listened to him sing, like actually listened to him sing and realized how beautiful it was and the message that he was sending through his, I call audible emotion. Isauro left Mexico 20 years ago, bringing a piece of his country with him to Sacramento, performing mariachi at a restaurant even through the pandemic. He wasn't an essential worker, but his work was essential to him because it was his soul you know, source of income. But COVID eventually came for him, robbing him of his life and the joy he gave to so many. Unfortunately, Trinidad is not experiencing this heartbreak alone. We're never going to ever amount to the, the person, the mother she was. The family of Veronica K. Ver Heron in Sacramento was beyond devastated when she tested positive at eight weeks pregnant. She died three days after giving birth to a healthy baby girl. The U.S. is nearing a painful milestone, 500,000 lives lost to the coronavirus. Right now, Sacramento County has over 90, 91,000 cases that have been reported and over 1,300 deaths. A shocking number even Sacramento's top public health official says her team did not expect. Dr. Olivia Kassiri and other health professionals are still on the front lines fighting tirelessly to save lives over a year later. This is something that was much larger in scope than what any of us imagined. But the work is not done. Their next challenge, how to vaccinate their city. This disease has a deadly diversity divide too. Organizers at La Familia in Sacramento ramping up vaccinations specifically within their community. We fought over to toilet paper. What would happen if we were fighting over our produce and our food? And so it's critical that people understand that we change the narrative regarding our communities of color and especially the Latino community. They are the backbone of our, of our economy. For many, like members of the Pacific Islander community, losing their family is losing the connection to their culture. With the loss of our elders, um, we lost our traditions, our cultures, and our, our basically our way of life. Many for the first time seeing people with shots of hope as we enter the next phase of this pandemic. It's an emotional moment for them, and it's an emotional thing for us too, delivering the vaccinations. That young lady you saw in the piece who lost her dad, like so many others we spoke to, she went right back to work after we spoke to her. She is in med school, and a few months ago, she made a big decision that she wants to be an ER doctor one day to one day help people who are in there who are just like her dad. Eva? No doubt she'll help so many people. Zareen, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.